much to this to another video my name is Dolka to those of us who are new here i'm a stay at home work from home mom and i'm a wife and i'm also a mom of two yeah so if you are new here thank you so much kindly consider subscribing and to those who are returning here i'm really grateful for you coming back to watch another video so um here now i'm at the dental clinic yeah this was another different day I was going to this hospital, Thika, Thika Dental Care Hospital, and it is in Thika, yeah, just in Thika town, that's where it's located. And uh, yeah, so I was going there to check if they could help me, and actually I loved their services, I loved everything, and uh, they observed me, and the best solution was just to extract my tooth because there was nothing much they could do to it because it had already decayed on the outside, so... I, um, the only solution was the root to be extracted. Yeah, hi everyone. I hope you are doing well. So it's a different day. This is the day after my dental appointment. So it is on a Saturday. Yeah, I want to prepare something for my family. I want to make some ahamri. I'll be also doing a stew for green crumbs. And we'll be steaming our cabbage. Yeah, so this uh, I'll be sharing the recipe for Mahamri and I'll be sharing the recipe for cabbage, but for the green grams, I won't go there because I've shared this severally, so I won't show the the green gram procedure, but it is quite easy as usual. So I want to show you what you need for the Mahamri. So let's get into it. Alright, so I hear quite some time people asking about the difference between Mahamri and Mandazi. And I want to, to bring it out in a more understandable way that you get it. So, for Madazi, you use baking powder, but or you use the self-raising flour or the Madazi flour. But when it comes to Mahamri, you have to use yeast. Either dry yeast or whatever kind of yeast you are using, it has to be yeast. So, anytime you are making uh mahamri you have to use yeast anytime that you are using baking powder in the self raising flour and the mandazi flour just know you are making mandazi and not making the mahamris and i want to say this point with my chest out if you are using any pow baking powder just know you are not making mahamri you are making some mandazi yeah so i hope the point is clear and i hope you get what i'm saying so the first thing that you need obviously as i mentioned is some dry yeast I'll be sure to leave the the measurements of the ingredients on the description box so please check that out if you are interested so i have my this is dry yeast i have my yeast i have my all-purpose flour remember i've just mentioned if don't use self-raising flour don't use mandazi don't use baking powder so this is all-purpose flour all-purpose flour so i have my all-purpose flour there and then one of the things that make mahamri it is the cardamom and the, the things that you must have when making mahamri it is cardamom yeah this is the cardamom and the coconut milk but i didn't have coconut milk in the house so i decided i'll just use this coconut powder and mix it up and then it will give that flavor of the of the coconut yeah you get what i'm saying i hope you do so i'll be adding in some coconut powder to my dry ingredients and then we'll, we'll be mixing it all together and this one will give it the flavor for the milk because I did have milk in the house and there's no way I'm not going to make this recipe just because I don't have the milk. Yeah, so I have some coconut powder and I have some margarine. You can use uh, vegetable cooking oil. It is totally up to you. But for margarine, it gives it a better taste. So yeah, I have some prestige margarine. I have to have some sugar. Yeah, Mahamri's they are a bit sweet. Yeah, mahamris are sweet, so we have to add in a bit of sugar. And then we have some milk here. Do not use water on this recipe. And this uh, <clears throat> and this place where you are using the normal milk is the place that you use the coconut milk. But as I mentioned earlier, I don't have coconut milk, so I have to use my coconut powder to give me the flavor for the coconut. So I guess you are, I hope I'm clear on what I'm saying. If I'm not, you can always ask a question in the description box and be sure i'll reply so this is everything let's get to the kneading process my yeast i just add it in and then i have my coconut uh, powder i'll add it in 
Yeah, so that's my coconut powder, and then I'll add in my iliki. Iliki is the cardamom. Yeah, I just just as I mentioned. So I'll just use the the whole of that. It was like one tablespoon. <coughs> if I had more, I would have added. And then I'll add in my sugar. For the sugar, you can go. You can adjust according to your liking. For me, I don't like it too sweet, so I'll just add like five tablespoons of sugar yeah that's enough and then i'll add in my margarine yeah, for margarine i'll go like uh, three tablespoons of margarine so we'll give this a good mix using the rough method so that the margarine can be incorporated well with the with the flour and the other ingredients so my hands are clean i just go in so i'll make a hole at the center and i'll add in my milk in bits remember my milk is warm yeah, anytime you are using uh, yeast, it is always advisable to use milk or water that is warm. So, I'll just add my milk in bits. Yeah. particular recipe you really don't do not require to overwork the dough yeah once everything is incorporated that means it is ready for the next step so i'll just finish up uh, kneading my dough and then i'll put it in my bowl and allow it to let to rest for around 45 minutes or even one hour remember the more you rest the dough the more the, it becomes softer yeah so i'll just allow my dough to rest for around 45 minutes and then we'll, we'll be back to it We'd be back with the next step. Remember to always keep your dough in somewhere that is a bit warm, somewhere like in a microwave or even in the oven. You can switch off the oven lights and just let it be there for the one hour or the 45 minutes. Yeah, so remember the yeast needs to be to continue activating and our dough needs to at least double, almost double in size. Yes. I actually rested my dough for more than one hour. I think it was around one hour, 20 minutes. So it has already doubled in size and I'm just punching out the excess air and then I'll start spreading it. And I'll just start by roughly uh, preparing some balls so that we can uh, we can start to make our shapes. Yeah, so I'll just roughly do this. I like eyeball and just uh, make the balls and then we'll, we'll start rolling them out. Hope I make the right noise Hoping that you like boys like me I know you feeling me from across the room I got a feeling you could be my muse I hear strange when I see you You say green but I see blue Either way your eyes the ones I'm looking to When I'm hell first Falling from heaven baby Living my own prayer that you catch and save me I was unaware of our elevation till I looked yeah so i'm almost done making the ball roughly preparing the balls and the next step is to just uh, cover them using a cling film or anything like a damp towel you can just cover the the dough with that so this one is because if you don't cover the dough there's a crust that forms on top of your dough and when you're making the mandazis they will be they tend to be hard so to prevent that just cover your dough and roll it one by one <laughs> Mahamris, they are prepared in a triangular shape. Actually, this is the 
most traditional shape that is that was used to make mahamris but if you prefer any shape you can make any shape but for me i prefer making them in triangles yeah so i'll just roll it out and then divide my my rolled out dough and we'll be ready to defry my oil is already heating up so yeah we we'll go to the next step of defrying, defrying our mahamri to know your oil is hot is when you see the there are no bubbles forming there are there are no noise that is coming out of the oil so that one tells you that the uh cooking uh the cooking oil is hot enough again you should not make it too hot so that when you deep fry your mandazi they don't end up cooking on the outside and then on the inside they are not cooked so at least your oil should be a bit moderate so that you don't make mahamris which are not cooked through very well so I'll gently lower my dough into the oil, yeah, and then I'll keep turning to attain a golden color that I love. So at this point, actually, they are ready, and I'll just get them out of the oil. I ain't never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. I know you feel me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from heaven, baby. Living on prayer that you catch and save me. my people i have my hot oil that is already on the fire so i want to add in the onions and then i'll be adding in some carrots the cabbage and then i'll be adding a bit of turmeric to give it more color i don't want my cabbage to be too uh, plain i wanted to have a bit of color today so i'll be adding some turmeric so my oil, my my oil is in let's start cooking So we want our onions to become translucent. Yeah, for the cabbage or for any vegetables, it's always advisable to to just make the onions or to sweat the onions or to make them translucent, and then the, there you add in the vegetables. This one ensures that the flavor of the onion is retained. Yeah. So at this point, we are doing okay. So I'm just going ahead. I'll go ahead and add in the turmeric. This is the turmeric. I got it back in the city. So I want to add in like a, this is like a teaspoon, yeah. And for turmeric, if you go overboard, you will not love that food. So it's always advisable you keep it combined, sana, so that you don't ruin the taste of your food. So I'm just going to allow it to cook together with the onions because it has another taste that you won't love when it is 
not cooked so yeah i'm just going to allow the turmeric to cook and then we'll add in the um the cabbage i'll go in with my cabbage I'll stir this first and then I'll add in the rest. So I'll add in the rest of the cabbage. Yeah, it's always good to, to stir your vegetables as you add them so that to distribute the oil evenly. So I'll go in with the rest. Yeah, so I'll go in with my carrots. These are grated carrots. Yeah, I want a bit of color to my cabbage today. That's why I preferred adding in a bit of turmeric and the carrots. Remember the carrots are sweet. Yeah, so your vegetables will be really nice. So at this point, I'll add in the salt, cover, and allow them to cook for around three minutes. And they'll be ready. You can start at this point, but I'm, I'm choosing to cover first, and then I'll start later, so that my carrots will be overcooked. Yeah, so three minutes later, and my cabbage is ready, so I'll just start to ensure everything is distributed equally, and then it will be ready to serve. Actually, this method of me preparing the cabbage I love it so much because my children love it actually. So you find most of the time when I prepare cabbage, they just want to eat the cabbage alone and then they can eat other things later. Like on this day, they ate cabbage. Actually, Karibu Isufuri Amzima Aisha, they ate a lot of cabbage, but I'm glad because so this cabbage was tasty, it was yummy. I guess also the color is attractive. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't tried this, uh, especially if you have young children, I'm sure they love it. presented my food and i want to attest it was tasty but don't be fooled i went for i went back for another mandazi yeah i didn't just take one to be honest i went back and had like two more yeah but anyway the food was so so tasty so before i just go ahead and enjoy my dinner i want to show you how the mandazis the mahamris are looking from the inside so they are super soft and this is how they look they are well done from the inside and I love mine horror. I don't like the ones which are a bit meaty. And the meaty is in quotes. So I prefer mine like this. So, But if you, you prefer the ones which are meaty, not, not a problem. You can go ahead and do that. So this is how I like mine. Uh, it's so yummy. And it is super soft. The, in, the outside is a bit crunchy and I love it. Or a bit crispy. And I love it. It's so yummy. It's so yummy. If you haven't tried this Mahamri recipe... I'm sure once you do so, you often make your mahamris this way. Yeah, so I just want to go ahead and eat. Yeah, everything is so delicious. I'm not exaggerating anything, but these are just simple meals that you can make and enjoy with your family. Yeah, so I'll finish up my food and I'll see you when I'm doing something else. Yeah, so I want to organize this messy closet and the reason is, <sighs> my children have found a new playing area 
So they are always here interfering with the clothes and they pray hide and seek. And they are pushing their clothes to one side and removing everything and putting it down. So the place is disorganized. I want, I want to organize that. My goal is to first organize this uh, lower section yeah, where you put something like the trousers and the sweaters and the like. So that is what I want to organize first. And then once that is done, I'll go ahead and now fold the clothes that have been washed recently. Yeah, Mama Fua has washed twice and I haven't found time to just put everything together. So this is the day. I have a lot of clothes to fold, but I have no other choice because... I'm the only one who can do this job and I'm the only one who can put everything together the way I want it to I want things to be done. Yeah, so I'm going to push myself and just do it. I don't like this job. I don't like anything to do with clothes, be it washing, be it folding. But for folding and organizing that is a bit better, but for washing is one of my least least favorite activities to do of least chose to do. Yeah, so anyway, let's start off. We organize the lower section. And then we move to folding the clothes that have been washed recently. And they are quite a lot. They are quite a lot. You'll see that. Yeah, this is what we have. Yeah, so the first batch oh, and then the second one. And then go mob. But lazima tu it as a fold. Yeah, so let's start. <laughs> Inside lane, missing exits, glued to the pavement Between the lines, I'll keep my gaze straight ahead As the last stop flies by No more waiting for the gun to fire No more walking through revolving doors I've gone around once to distract myself from seeing the pile and the load of clothes that i have to uh, to fold i like listening to music or to a podcast and on this uh, on this day i was listening to shiki shiki from over 25 with the hubby shiv they have a new podcast on their own and i'm actually loving the unit podcast that one episode is so lovely so if you don't know they have a podcast it's called unit uh it's called unit the podcast yeah you can check it out if you haven't uh seen it or if you had haven't heard of it yeah so i'll just do this so that uh, i enjoy myself folding the clothes and to like uh push time a little bit faster or to distract myself so um that is what i do hey, you can't so the cruise control switching in the manual don't you want to feel right again don't you want to feel whole don't you want to feel yeah so this is what i folded i've just said it uh the clothes were quite a lot so this is what we have i'll just uh put them away to their respective areas <laughs> For the dresses, I didn't have to fold them because I'll be hanging them on the on the hangers. Yeah, so I didn't see the need of folding. 
such a relief it's such a relief to see the clothes are out of the way yeah i feel like there is something in my head that tells me uh yani i feel like there's something in my head that doesn't function right when the clothes are all over but sometimes i do not have any option because sometimes clothes tend to lie in the basket for around even three weeks i'm not even ashamed it's motherhood it's uh chasing the bug and everything ma- and hey a lot a lot i can't even finish everything here but i'm glad this is out of the way everything has turned out so well and arranged in its right place <laughs> I'm done. I'm done editing this video. I was so tired. I pushed myself to do it, but I'm so glad that uh, on Saturday we won't miss a video. Yeah, so uh, I just stuck to the end of the video. Thank you so much for uh, your time. It's almost 30 minutes and you have been here. I appreciate you so much and thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for also leaving a comment, liking the video and sharing. And sharing. My Kiku is showing off. And uh, yeah, to those who are new here, please, I hope I've already earned your subscription. Please subscribe. Subscribe help us grow on this channel. So this is everything. And I want to end it here and um, say thank you. Thank you, everyone. And allow me to see you on my next one, my people, my gang. Bye.